Will is the key. Will. Willpower. <laughs> I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. I don't know much as you do, I'm sure. I'm sure everybody in here is more learned than I, much more of a scholar than I. But I know about coming back from seemingly unsurmountable odds. I know about coming back from doctors tell you that you can't or that you shouldn't answer because of your diagnosis and don't do a damn thing. <laughs> Bullshit. Hell no. Every time I go to the doctor, they tell me what I shouldn't be doing and what I should be doing and what I won't do and what I can't do. And I politely go out the do door and do whatever the fuck I want to do. And I'm going to do that until they throw dirt on top of me. This is my life. And I choose to live it the way I want to live it. I won't let you decide how I live this life. I don't care how long or short it is. It's mine, motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm going to use it how I see fit. What motivates you? Your story motivates me. Your story motivates me. The stories of extreme will. People that came through something or circumstances that they were not supposed to go through. Not supposed, you just ain't supposed to be able to do it. But he did it any goddamn way. <laughs> it is impossible until some crazy son of a bitch has the audacity to believe that no matter what the expert or the doctor says, I can still do that shit. And if you don't believe it, just sit your ass down over there and watch me do it. How do you teach people to, to, to not look at something and say immediately, because the appearance, I can't do it. I give up. Before they even attempt it. Oh, that's overtraining. Simply because it sounds like more than I ever done before. I can't do that. I won't even try. I won't even try. I give up before I even try. No. Oh, I tried. But I fell short. I tried my best. But I fell short. Is there victory in that? God damn right it is. Any one of you guys have watched my videos, you know I'm a pretty positive fucking guy. And during this COVID, I've been trying to see the other side of the coin. You know, trying to see the big fucking picture. With a big fucking smile on my face. Well, I'm fucking sick of it now. I've had it up to here. I just recently read that they're considering a lockdown over the fucking New Year's. I'm over the Christmas holidays. It's the one thing I've been looking forward to this fucking Christmas was to be able to spend my time at the fucking gym during my two weeks vacation. You know? Uh, enough fucking shit go through this fucking year because of this fucking garbage. Uh, 
I keep telling myself, especially the last couple months, all right, just maintain, maintain, maintain. You know, you got two weeks off during December. You know, you got yourself a plan. Now we're just going to get to the gym and get refocused, you know. And this fucking, excuse my pun, cocksuckers want to shut down shit again. Fuck. Like, I'm really sorry if you lost someone due to fucking this COVID bullshit. But this, people are acting like, okay, I'm not saying COVID's not real. But what I am saying is, we can't defend ourselves against this. We're all going to get it. And if you live your life like a fucking pig, you deserve to get it. You know? I made a video when this fucking shit first started way back in what, March. And I was trying to get my head around it. But the one thing that bothered me right from the get-go was that it was a virus. Like the flu. A virus. Which means there's not a fucking thing that you can do to defend yourself against this fucking thing. It's going to make its rounds. It's going to fucking hit everybody. <sighs> vaccine? Yeah, okay, get your vaccine. Get your fucking vaccine. <sighs> what does a vaccine mean? A vaccine means you need to protect yourself against the virus because there's nothing you can do to protect yourself from getting it. Right? So why are you shit, shutting shit down when people are going to get it anyways? Fuck's sakes. It's rare. I get fucking pissed off. Like I'm... <laughs> I work really hard to contain my emotions. It's just... With everything that's gone on with me in the last few months my own bipolar bullshit you know this is the one thing I've been looking forward to is my two weeks off and going to the fucking gym you know I've been looking you have been really looking forward to this you know hey they've changed the gym schedules got us wearing masks got us doing this got to do that fine you know that fucked up my shit but still, big smile, at least the gym's open, you know. It's just, I just don't get the mentality. I understood the mentality in March, okay. Hospitals understaffed, we are under-equipped, we didn't know what the fuck we were facing, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're like eight months in now. We know what the fuck is going on, all right? <laughs> There's nothing we can do to stop this. Some of us, some of us are going to be lucky, and some of us won't. That's fucking life, okay? That's fucking life. I don't think I can. My mom's seventy fucking two, so don't think I don't understand the repercussions of this. All right? She en she ended up having a fucking stroke. A mild stroke, thank God. She got really friggin' sick. Um, whether it was COVID, I don't know. But it's besides the point. She's 72. I wouldn't say she eats the healthiest. Um, she eats um, what she thinks is healthy. I'm certainly not going to tell her any differently. She definitely should exercise more. You know, which she doesn't. She should lift weights. She doesn't. You know, um, there's a lot of things my mom can do to um, improve her chances and strengthen her immune system, uh, which she doesn't do. You know, but I'm certainly not going to tell her how to live her life. But at the same time, um, you know, if you get sick, you know, don't blame fucking uh, politicians or whatever for not closing shit down, you know. If you get sick, it's your fucking fault. Probably 90% of it anyways. 
right? Lifestyle. <sighs> it's very rare I vent like this. Very rare. I try and be positive, right? I work really hard on being positive and putting on that smiley face and I'm okay. World's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Uh, now if they shut shut shit down for two weeks, okay, you know, I'm gonna have to spin it, spin it again, adjust my life again. Okay, we'll look forward to the new year, yeah, and you know. They say, um, a sign of intelligence is your ability to adapt, right? I use that to remind myself, <laughs> saying you're a fucking moron if you can't adapt to this shit every day. <laughs> oh, fuck. And no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just... I've had it with this COVID shit. I've just fucking had it. You know, my, I'm at my fucking max. I'm just at my max with this shit. <sighs> like when I said, when I did that video in March, you know, uh, I can see if the mortality rate is 99%. You get it, you're dead. Is that right? Did I say that correct? The mortality rate is higher? I don't know. I'm sure about the if it's higher or lower. Mortality is zero. Uh, whatever. Anyways. If you got this and you're fucking dead, you know, I can kind of get the fucking, you know, <laughs> but we all know what's going on, right? We all know what's going on. Now, I always to, to some myself, I can see it from the politician side. They have to do everything they can because there's only someone who says, well, you should have shut shit down and my fucking father died. If you didn't shut shit down, my mother or sister or whatever. You know? And they have no choice but to succumb to that bullshit. You know? I get it. I get it. I don't agree with it. I don't. Essential, non-essential. Go fuck yourself. Who are you to dictate what is essential and is not essential to my fucking life? Sorry, you don't know me that well, pal. <laughs> you don't know me that well at all. Would my opinion change if my 72 mother died from COVID? Nope. No, it won't. No, it would not. Don't get me wrong. I'd be sad to see my mother go. <sighs> but due to COVID, she can die of the flu. She can die from a blood clot in her leg. You know? Um, she can die from a lot of different reasons. You know, I'd rather see her die on her terms, you know, um, rather than being dictated what she can and can't do. You know, she's been, you know, this, the way this media has gone, they've put her in such a state of fucking fear that is just, you know, I don't even want, you know, I won't even talk to her about it because there's no point. There's no point. I can fucking give her all the facts and tell her this and I can reason with her, but she's 70 fucking too. The newspapers are right in her mind. The media is right in her mind. The politicians are right in her mind. Right? What am I going to fucking tell her? There's nothing I can do to convince her. You know? I know a guy, this, this is a story, guys. I have a buddy of mine, okay? Wears a mask uh, during his job. 
You know what ended up happening to this motherfucker? The bacteria from his mask ended up getting into his throat. And he had to go to the hospital for three days because it got all fucking infected in his throat. And oh, it just... <laughs> Yeah, maybe he should have washed his mask more often. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe he shouldn't have been able to, shouldn't have had to wear a mask on the fucking job in the first fucking place. Oh, we should be have a right to choose. The choice should be ours. You want to enforce something? Enforce some, enforce people to go to the gym. Enforce people to to strengthen their immune system. Why don't you fucking enforce that? You know, instead of fucking... Why don't you give free vitamin C and vitamin D away? Give that shit away for free. You know? Give free gym memberships across Ontario. Why don't you fucking do that? Do something that actually fucking help people become healthy. You know? Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hypocrisy is just mind blowing. I remember when this first all started. I'm outside of uh, Food Basics here in Rockland. We're in this stupid fucking line going all out the fucking. So I found myself um, standing in the middle of uh, the road uh, between two sidewalks. I'm like, I'm going to stand in the middle of the road. So I walked toward the sidewalk. And this fucking fat piece of shit that had a chip on her shoulder turns me and says, Six fucking feet! I'm like, lady, don't tell me you give a shit about your fucking health. Don't tell me that. Do not fucking tell me that. And, you know, I lost it. I lost it. You know? <sighs> Could there be any other reasons why she said, wait, yeah. Okay, but... <sighs> Whatever. You know? Would you rather me fucking stand in the middle of the road and get hit by a fucking car? Like, Jesus fucking Christ. People wonder why I don't socialize. <laughs> I don't socialize so I can keep the smile on my goddamn face. <laughs> oh. But I'm lucky, you know, the gym I go to, everyone's pretty much on the fucking same page there. You know, it's a, it's a good crew there, you know. Um, uh, but Jesus fucking Christ. It's just, I don't... I think what bothers me most is that they keep changing shit. You know, it's okay that it's not. It's okay that it's not. That it's okay that it's not. Instead of getting accustomed to it. <laughs> you know, like... You want to shut shit down? Fine. Shut everything right down for fucking six months. Shut it all down. Shut it all down. Everything. Oh, why don't you do that? Of course you can't do that. Of course you can't do that. I said from the get-go, herd immunity is the best thing to do. Right? You know, what's going on with the elderly, you know, is, is fucking sad. But... Things have been bad for the elderly in our countries for a long fucking time, okay? We don't take care of our old people. Not the way we should. Not the way we should for a long, a long, long time. You know? Um, (sighs) 
No, I don't envy politicians' jobs. I don't pretend I know what it's like to do their job. I don't. Especially in the beginning. But we're fucking eight months in now. We're eight months in. Stop fucking around. We're eight months in. I feel like I'm back in fucking retail for fuck's sakes. Deal with the same bullshit that we did a year ago. Oh, we're going to deal with this again? We're going to deal with this again? We're going to deal with this problem again? We're constantly dealing with the same fucking shit. Fix your fucking shit. Do your fucking job. Hey, you've had eight months, man. Get it together. You're the fucking government. Get your shit together. Fuck. Fuck, I hate being angry. Uh, but I've been angry for most of my life. It's a great fuel source. It's very motiv- motivating to use anger to get shit done. But I promised myself that I was angry for 25 years. Every day going into work. Angry, 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 angry. I don't want that life for myself anymore. I don't want to be angry. When someone is telling me what I can and can't do, I gotta draw the fucking line, man. Like, (laughs) time out here. Time fucking out. What are you guys going to start doing now? Passing laws? Well, hopefully everyone will get this vaccine and all will be well. I'm going to have to put up with this fucking shit anymore. And the people who need to get rich will get rich and we can go back to fucking normal. You know? Whatever normal was. That's the one good thing about being bipolar. That's definitely advantageous. Is... The perception shifts. So I'll wake up tomorrow morning with a completely different perception and a different outlook and it'd be like this video never even happened. The way I felt never even happened. <laughs> That's a real good thing. You know, the anger never stays with me because tomorrow morning I'll wake up, I'll go to the gym, I'll have a great fucking workout, you know, and I'll deal with whatever I find out tomorrow, tomorrow. And I'll spin it any way I have to spin it. You know? In my mind, to move forward. You know? So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I just, for once, I just wanted to fucking vent my frustrations. Because I'm always Mr. Positive and everything is fucking fantastic and life is great. Let's all pull together and be a community. <laughs> I don't mean to be a killjoy. I don't. But it is what it is, and I'm seeing things the way I'm seeing them right now, and I'm feeling the way I'm feeling things right now. So I tell I see you guys again. Take care of yourselves to each other. Well, bless you all.